Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a new column here and copy all of this column. Then go to Table Design and Insert Slicer. Then create a slicer using the column I just made and OK. Then we'll be able to see the effect that the changes we're making are having. So what I am going to do is add a bunch of spaces to the beginning of the shorter words to push them into the middle. You can't just add a bunch of normal spaces because the slicer just ignores them. What you need is a special sort of space called a non-line breaking space. And you get this by using the character formula. And the character formula for a non-line breaking space is 160. And enter. And now you'll see that it's added one space to the beginning of each word. But I don't want just one space, I want multiple spaces. So in order to get that, I'm going to use the repeat formula. This will repeat a piece of text a certain number of times. I'll put five times for now and enter. And now you'll see it's added five spaces to the beginning of each word. But I don't want five spaces added, I want the number of spaces to be variable depending on how long the word is. So to work out how long each value is, I'm going to use the len formula, which will give me the number of characters in each value. And you'll see here chloroform is my longest word with 10 characters. If you need to use a formula to work out what the longest value is, then you can use the max formula and then put the length formula inside it and enter. And that also gets me 10. But rather than knowing the length of each name, what I actually want is to know how many spaces I would have to add in order to get all of the names to be the same length. So to work this out, I'm going to do 10 minus the length of each name. And then I get the number of spaces I need to add to the beginning of each name. So I'm going to copy this and paste it in here to remove the number five. And you'll see that now all of the names have been pushed into the middle. I'll just adjust the right hand side so that the amount of space on the right hand side is the same as the amount of space on the left hand side. So the shorter words have more spaces added to them which pushes them further to the right so it looks as if it's aligned to the centre. Now you may have noticed that the order of the values has changed from the order that they were here. And that is because the slicer is trying to sort it in alphabetical order, but it can't do it properly anymore because we've added spaces to the beginning. So in order to fix this, we need to make a custom list and then use that to sort the slicer. To do this, I'm going to copy this column here then paste it down here as values. Then go to File, Options, Advanced, scroll all the way down to the bottom and edit custom lists. Then import list from cells and select these cells here. Enter, Import, and now you'll see we have a new custom list here. And OK. And OK again. Then to get the slicer to update, select the slicer and right click and go to slicer settings. Then untick the use custom lists when sorting box and OK. Then right click again and go to slicer settings and 
re-tick the use custom lists when sorting and OK. And now you can see that the values have reordered themselves so they match what they are actually. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to make the text in an Excel slicer aligned to the center. And that is everything.